Hello everyone. Today is Freestyle Fridays. Hey, so I love Freestyle Fridays because I get to hack up patterns, do all that kind of stuff with my patterns. So I'm your host, Kathy. You should know by now. You should know me. So today, if you haven't liked, shared, and subscribed, please do so. I really appreciate everyone who has already done it. I appreciate your comments. I thank you. Thank you so much. So please tell a friend, tell a neighbor, phone them, do it now. Anyway, today we're going to be hacking a couple patterns, okay? So, um, if you follow my channel for, I think I've been on for a month now, you know I like to do different things. I don't just keep patterns the way they are. I like to hack them. So, if you want to know more about what's going to happen, stay tuned. Okay, we're back. So, as I said, we're going to hack at patterns today. Today is Freestyle Friday. And the first pattern I want to show you is McCall 7853. Don't be looking like that. Don't be looking at me with that tone of voice because I already know what you're saying. What the heck is she getting ready to do with that? So, um, what we're going to be using is the jacket. The jacket part. See that? I'm going to be using view A. And I don't know if you can see the back of view A, but you see it's got a tail. Now, this is actually the pattern. Um... I did it in this print and it does have a tail. Let me turn it around for y'all. See, it's got a little tuxedo tail on there. It's cute. And so uh, I did that one and then I hacked it. I added these little flaps because you see how that is? That's the way it's supposed to be. It's just supposed to stop on the sides just like that. It's hoop over. Just like that. See that? It's supposed to stop like that. So what we're going to do is, how we're going to hack it is, we're going to, let me show you my little sketch I did. I can draw a little bit now, come on. So this is the jacket, and as you can see, the lapels, you probably can't see it because this pattern is busy. These are the lapels, and then it's going to stop the same way. What we're going to get in the hacking is, and change this pattern up is down here. We're going to add a duster bottom, okay? And it's going to be a split in the front all the way down. So you can wear um, your regular I'm not going to do my pants in the same fabric. I'm going to do a contrasting fabric. Y'all know how I do it. So um, the fabric I chose, let me, let me get to this second pattern first. What we're going to do next. So I know y'all have seen the bold hats. And I, I love certain hats. I don't like the big 10 gallon hat and all that stuff. Certain hats I do like. I like that style. And this is the style I am getting ready to do with this same fabric for this outfit, y'all. <laughs> I can't wait. Anyway, uh, this is view E. And this is uh, Vogue uh, 7464. So we're going to be doing that hat. And I'm going to show you what pattern pieces you're going to be needing stay tuned be your brim okay so i'm the band i keep saying brim band 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 <laughs> okay so those are all all the pieces you're going to need for your hat other than two pieces of uh, uh elastic the elastic is going to be to so you can have some stretch in there. You're going to have some ease in there. Okay. So these are the pattern pieces you will need. So if you're ready to get started, let's go. Okay. So we're back. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start putting this bad boy together. Okay. So first what you're going to do is you're going to grab... Pattern piece number one. This is your front bodice. Front. Okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to do a 5 8 of an inch seam allowance straight down the front. Told y'all this is different. This is 
the buttons that's on here and on this pattern, they're just mock buttons. I'm looking for that pattern again. There's just mock buttons, and I thought that was really here. You see those buttons? It seems like you can open those. On. Those are mock buttons. Well, hallelujah. So, we're going to do that. Then, what we're going to do, you know, I like to do two and three things at one time. Then, I like to iron my darts down. You know, I already got my dart markings, but I iron them down. And they just give me a basis. So, we're going to iron the darts down on this in both places, okay? Iron those down, and then we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so we're back. So as you can see, I've ironed down my bus darts going to the sides, okay? Then I ironed down my um, centerpiece, front pieces together, rather. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank. So now what you're going to do is you're going to grab pattern piece number two, which is your back, okay? This is your back. And so what we're going to do, line up our shoulder seams. Line up them shoulder seams with uh, pattern piece number one, okay? Then what you're going to do, you see I already got my darts or my pins in there. I'm going to sew those darts down, and then you're going to stitch five eight. Five eighth of an inch seam allowance across these shoulder seams. You're gonna connect those. Now, when you do that, we're gonna come back and we're gonna add our lapels to that. Okay, so we'll be right back. Okay, as you can see, I'm speeding up this process here. As you can see, I've sewn my bodice fronts, backs at the sides shoulder seams and all of that is sewn together the only thing that is open is the back this is the back now let me show you the front this is the front and as you can see i have already pinned my lapels on here remember i told you the lapels are going to be black on the back so what you do is for your lapels um here's the pattern you're gonna sew starting at the top there at your not at your at your um top collar so all the way around to the bottom and then you're going to sew up according to your size these dots are here for a reason you made sure you had your dots and so when you sew up come back down and then all the way down on this this is the way it's going to look so let me show you again i have sewn straight down here all the way around here I went up because my dots. Then I come back down, a dot there, and then I go all the way around and finish sewing this. And then what I do, when you flip it right side out, this is what it makes when you do that. So that's kind of like a mock lapel. That's not a, a real one. The real one, you would have been combining these two pieces together. It would have been more of a hassle to me. I like these little mock ones. So anyway, I have sewn those on, lined up my notches, sewn those on, and you're going to leave a, a little on the back because you got to sew your zipper on here, okay? So now all you got to do is take this and you're going to take it to your machine and sew it straight down your lapel on here on both sides, okay? Now, you know this has a, how all of this is going to get finished is because we have a lining we're putting in here, okay? lining covers up all your imperfections and it just gives it a nice look on the front and on the back okay so that's the purpose of linings if you can get away with it because i don't like them i make them for other people because i want their clothes to be nicely finished but for myself i don't because it, it's just too hot <laughs> anyway we're going to do that sew these lapels down like i just said and then while we're over there I'm going to start on my sleeves. I'm trying to get the top of this body completely done, okay? Um, so what I'm gonna do, y'all know how to do it. Let me move this to the side so you can see. You're gonna go right sides, 
to right sides. Right sides to right sides. You're gonna sew five eighths of an inch seam allowance straight down there. And then you're going to gather, put a couple gathering stitches in here because this is going to balloon up, okay? Do that, couple gathering stitches in there and uh, we're gonna add it to our shirt by this top, okay? We're gonna do all of that and then when we get all of that done, we're going to come back and I'm gonna show you how to add that cap sleeve in there, the cap for the sleeve. Okay, so we're back. So as you can see, it's really coming together. I got the lapels on here. I got my sleeves on here. And you see the puffy? I want a little more poof in that sleeve. So, like that. So now, like I said, I'm going to come back and show you how to insert these sleeve heads. So, it calls for one, but I want mine a little thick, so I put two. And then what you're going to do gonna fold these in half just like that and you're gonna give it a stitch both of them just like that then when you do that you're gonna put another stitch in there so you can um the stitch go into that in yeah you're gonna put another stitch so you can um gather a gathering stitch and then once you do that what you're gonna do is you're gonna sew it in that sleeve you're gonna give it some substance in there okay so we're gonna do that once we do both of those we're gonna add our zipper and then we're gonna come back because we're gonna be ready to add our um, um Lord, I'm getting a brain for our lining. We'll be right back. Okay, so now that we have our sleeves on, we got our sleeve head inside of there. See that? It's going to help it stay formed, that sleeve. Now, you should have sewn your lining piece the exact same way you sew your bodice. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to pin these right sides together. Make sure you sandwich that collar in there. Do not leave the collar out. Sandwich that collar in there. So we're going to sew these. Line up your... Your collar seams. Then line up your front seams the front seam always get these seams first you want to make sure those are right remember i said sandwich that lapel in there line up that collar seam These should be matching. Make sure that collar is not, you don't sew that down. You might want to, you can pin it, but I'm just going to tuck mine down in there. I'm aware that it's there because you'll be taking all of this back out if you end up sewing that down. Okay, now you go back through and you just add pins to what you need to. Once it's lined up, once all those seams, you got all those seams done, you just add pins. Everything should be lining up straight. So now what you're going to do is you're going to start from the top of that back seam. That back opening where your zipper is going. Because you, you don't have your zipper in yet. And you're going to sew all the way across. All the way down. When you get to the middle, you, you're sewing down in the angle. Then you're going to pivot back up. Going up. You see that? Sewing all the way down. You get here. 
and then you're gonna pivot back up and go all the way around and sew that okay once you do that we're gonna add our zipper while we're over there too and we'll be right back okay so as you can see I got my lining in here my lining in there came out real good the lining is in there and I did not put the zipper in first so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add grab my skirt front and skirt back and I'm gonna connect those and then what I'm gonna do is connect it to the bodice first then I'm gonna connect my um, lining to the bottom as well. I'm going to do that before I put the zipper in because the zipper is going down into the dress. So I decided I think I better wait. I was getting ready to do something that I think I was going to regret. So what we're going to do is put our skirt pieces together, lining piece and the skirt pieces, add them to the bodice, add them to the lining, and then we're going to come back and, um, well, I'm going to add my zipper while I'm over there. So we'll be right back after we do that. Okay, so it's a lot of fabric going on right here. So this is the top. This is the lining for it. I've attached the skirt to the bodice, okay? I have not attached, attached the lining. Now, here's the lining down here. What I'm doing now is pinning my skirt and lining right sides to right sides, okay? I'm going all the way around, and then I'm going to go all the way up to the top and so, okay? Connecting that lining all the way around that skirt, all the way up to the top. And we're going to connect it that way. So, I'm going to kind of show you when I get done, but this is a lot of fabric. And let me show you a little bit what I'm talking about. Now, this is the front. This is the front. This is the front piece. So, on one side. So, what I'm going to do is the front piece from the lining. I'm going to just sew that all the way down, then all the way around the fullness of the dress, all the way up to the other side that's just like this. Once we do that, we're going to come back and we're going to give it a press, turn it out, and then that's when we're going to hem these two together, okay? We'll be right back. Okay, now that you've sewn it all the way around, now you're going to turn it right sides out. Find all your points. Turn this baby right side out. Okay. You got a lining in there now. Okay. The lining is not attached at the top. It's only attached at the bottom. You can kind of see. Um, I have not attached it at the waist yet. So you're just going to pull all that out of there. Get your points, your end points. Okay. See that how it's coming together? Get your end points. Get your end points. Okay. Get all your points out. Get this thing turned all the way out. And then we're going to take it over to the sewing machine and give it a press. And then when we give it a press, we'll kind of see where we are. You can see it better then. We'll be right back. Okay, as you can see, the skirt is in, the lining is in. Um, it came out really nice. Look at that. That is really nice. So, all we gotta do is, of course we gotta um, sew that part together that's still on there that I left off. So now, what we gotta do is so the lining to the lining okay 
So aligning to the lining, we're gonna finish stitching these. So all the lining, stitch these little pieces I left open on both sides. Did that on both sides. And then we're gonna sew lining to lining and then add our zipper, okay? So once we do that, all we gotta do is hem the sleeves on this bad boy and hem the sleeves and that's it. And start on our hat. We'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, this is complete. Close on me. This is complete. And look at that lining, how that came out in there. Look at that. Bring it up some. Look at the lapels. And then I got the black on that side. So we just got the slit here. And so it'll open out and you can just wear some pants or whatever with that. It's my sleeves. Um, a nice little puff. Not a whole bunch, but a nice little puff. Now, this is that, the back. I'm going to put a little clasp hook and eye in there to keep that together. But um as you can see came out really nice. Came out really nice and all I gotta do is hem the sleeves. Once I hem the sleeves on here it's complete and gonna do the hat and if you like this, oh, and I got to add my little buttons. Let me show you my little buttons I got for it. I got some cute little buttons for it. Got these little buttons. Well, I'll add those on there. So the next time you see it, you'll see it. I think I'm going to do four. I don't know, I might just do three. But these little buttons I got from um, Hobby Lobby. Okay, so... This is the complete dress. And really, you can't see it. It goes all the way down to the floor. Look at that hem, how that came out. This is just a poly cotton. Got it from Walmart. But this fabric here, I got this from Joanne. So, this cotton. It had them on sale. Really nice, soft cotton. Gonna wash up well and all that. So, if you like it and you want to see me edit, stay tuned. So please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much.